CataractCoach.com. Capsule Rexus in a five-year-old child. So here's a technique to create a great Capsule Rexus in a very elastic capsule. Our guest is Dr. Adib Akrawi from Iraq. So tripan blue dye is very important because it not only gives you better visualization, it actually decreases capsule elasticity. So it's really important in this five-year-old child. Remember, when you're operating on a young person like this, you got to remember this surgery is going to last this patient 70, 80, 90 years. So poking in here in the lens capsule and intentionally trying to start a rexus on the little, on the small side, because you know it may go out very quickly. And he's actually tracing, which is very smart, this type of lamellar cataract has kind of given that appearance. So he'll put in more viscoelastic, and that lamellar cataract is basically about the right size. So he's kind of just tracing the edge of that. And notice how he's doing the whole rexus without forceps, just with the cystotome. That allows going through the small incision, you have no gaping of the incision, how he takes his time, the angle, he's pulling it inward more than you would in an adult because of the capsule elasticity. So just taking his time here, and you'll see, I was very impressed. He had a beautiful, literally perfect uh, five millimeter caps rexus for this young child. Now the lens here, of course, is very soft. There's nothing to worry about here. The lens is very soft. Here at the very end, just the forceps, just to grab the very last tip of it, just to finish that up, a little bit more control with the forceps. And you can see how he's pulling inwards with that rexus edge, because otherwise it wants to run out. So again, it's very difficult, different than an adult. This capsule is so elastic that look, he's pulling inward. Look at the angle he's pulling and still, it still wants to run away from him. So he's gonna grab it again and he's gonna finish it. He's gonna have a beautiful result here. And so I like the technique that he used here, a lot of control. And the take home message here is that the Rex is very difficult to perform in these young patients. And it wants to run away from you because the capsule is so elastic. But you can, in fact, like he did here, have a beautiful result. Now, this lens is very soft. By manual, I and A will be enough. You'll just aspirate this whole lens down. It'll come down very easily. I'm not sure the nature of this cataract or why this poor five-year-old boy developed a cataract, but certainly it needs to be treated, especially because this cataract was very visually significant. So you can see the lens nucleus is just butter soft, comes out with the by manual irrigation aspiration only. Notice there's a little bit of bounce in the anterior chamber, a little bit of fluidic instability. Here's a case where I'd increase the effusion pressure or bottle height, and I decrease the flow rate. So sometimes these 23 gauge bimanual instruments, you're not getting enough flow inside the eye. So you want to just increase that parameter. So increase the infusion, decrease the outflow just to get more chamber stability. So taking out the last bit of it, you can see it's cleaned up very nicely. Now, in all likelihood, you're going to have to do a YAG capsulotomy for this child, but I think a five-year-old or six-year-old child could easily sit still for a YAG capsulotomy. So I don't think you need to do a primary one now. You just get the lens in the bag. So it looks like here, a three-piece lens going in. Um, let's see if we can see. That's I'd get that haptic flipped over, my friend. There you go, good. Remember our 7L rule, that first haptic better look like the number seven. The trailing haptic better look like the capital letter L. It's not getting that in the capsule bag, really important. You want this lens nicely placed and securely placed in the capsule bag, including that trailing haptic. That looks pretty good. And now centering it up and then taking out the viscoelastic. So lots of challenges here. In a very, very young child, in a baby, less than one year old, you're not going to be able to do a rexus. You may have to try some other techniques. So congenital cataracts in, in newborns, you can try Ken Nichols' two incision push-pull technique. That works very well. But just keep in mind, elasticity does vary with patient age. The younger the patient is, the much more elastic the capsule is, and the much more difficult it is to create a capsular rexus. But in this case, beautiful result. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. CataractCoach.com. Check it out.